What's up gamers? I'm John and this is my level up news where I bring you news every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. It's the top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Monday, July 15th, 2024. On today's level up news we talk about the Elden Ring Bloodborne mod, the first descending, descending in ratings, Amazon Prime Day free games and more. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Baldur's Gate 3 dominated the last two years of Game Awards shows, winning numerous accolades including Best Game at the 2024 BAFTA Awards. However, Larian Studios CEO revealed that the extensive award ceremonies have disrupted development, promoting the studio to send out rotating teams to these events. Despite the challenges, Larian values the recognition but hopes for a more streamlined award season. The CEO also noted the emotional toll of continuous public attention delaying closure for the team. Looking ahead, Larian is focusing on a new projects including one codenamed Excalibur, while trying to move beyond constant discussions of Baldur's Gate 3. The first descendant has faced criticism for its similarities to other looter shooters like Destiny 2 and Warframe, particularly regarding icon designs. Next on, the game's developer acknowledged the inspiration from Destiny 2 and announced changes to the icons to maintain the game's unique identity. This decision followed Forbes writer Paul Tassi's social media posts highlighting the similarities. Despite these issues, the first Descendant quickly gained popularity reaching 10 million players within a week of its July 2nd launch, though it has initially faced server issues that have been resolved. The massive Bloodborne inspired Elden Ring mod Graceborn is now compatible with the Shadow of the Earth Tree expansion, allowing players to explore the Realm of Shadows with a Bloodborne style overhaul. Created by modder Corvian Noctis, Graceborn offers new weapons, armor, and mechanics such as quick steps and removed equip load. Initially released on Nexus mods, the alpha version was incompatible with the Elden Ring's version 1.12, but after two weeks of work, a compatible update has resolved these issues. While some features like gun pairing are still being fixed, most additions now work seamlessly with the latest update. Corian Noctis is looking to expand the development team to achieve the mod's full scope, acknowledging that solo development is not feasible for such an ambitious project. I'm only an hour into the first Ascendant and it's a good game with great mechanics, but there are a lot of people who don't think this. Review scores are low, with a 57 on PC, a 52 on Xbox, and a 50 on PS5, even worse than the Suicide Squad's Kill the Justice League score of 60. Despite this, the first Ascendant has a strong player base, peaking short of 265,000 players on Steam. The game is repetitive, with a nonsensical story and a welfare of problems, but it has popular gains. It appeals to uber grinders who enjoy significant power upgrades despite poor first expressions, frustrating RNG, and microtransactions. While not perfect, it's still better than the Suicide Squad game, which remains the biggest disappointment of this year, especially given the high expectations from Rocksteady. Once human players are now enjoying the game's building mechanics, often prioritizing them over the combat and survival. A July 10th thread titled, Anyone Else Just Loving the Building? almost forgot to actually play the game, gained attention with a screenshot of a beautiful two-story riverside house. This inspired others to share their builds, including an impressive structure spanning a river with a bridge using flight mode for vertical construction. Some players, like one who is still at level 16, spend extensive time building instead of leveling up. Concerns about losing builds due to the game's wipe systems were addressed by mentioning the House Blueprints mechanic, which allows players to save and rebuild their structures. To maximize building space, players can unlock the Territory Expansion mechanic under the Building Tree skill. Despite the game's focus on the looter shooter, its deep building mechanics provide a rich experience beyond just slaying enemies. Sony's upcoming hero shooter Concord had its first public showing over the weekend with early access beta available to select players before an open beta later this week. The first person shooter received positive reactions despite stiff competition. Overwatch senior animator praised its distinct characters and fast and kinetic combat, while Insomniac lead engine programmer complimented the character change animations. Second Wind's Nick noted solid gunplay and diverse heroes, suggesting PlayStation might have another multiplayer winner. 
kind of funny Paris Lily saw potential for improvements but believed Concord had a chance in an already competitive and crowded PvP scene. The open beta runs from July 18th to the 21st, offering another chance to experience the game. Princess Zelda is the main protagonist in The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, marking a first for the mainline series. The ASRB rating reveals that Link will be available also, noting that players will control Zelda to dispel reefs and rescue Link. As Link, players can use a sword and arrows while Zelda can summon creatures with a magic wand. Though it's unclear how significant Link's role will be, his appearance might be limited to specific sections. Despite this, Zelda is clearly the star of the game. This isn't her first playable role, having appeared in Hyrule Warriors, Super Smash Bros., Spirit Tracks, and CDI games, but her lead role in Echoes of Wisdom is significant. Announced during June's 2024 Nintendo Direct, the game is set to release on Nintendo Switch on September 26. Arc System Works has announced Double Dragon Robot, a new game in the Double Dragon series of beat em ups, set for release next year. Revival will revisit locations and enemies from the earliest entries in the series, but will feature a modern look with 3D models instead of sprites. The developers aim to maintain the simple initiative gameplay of the original while refining controls and balance for the modern day. The teaser trailer showcases classic Double Dragon action including martial arts combat and humorous exaggerated scenarios like punching someone into a dumpster. The game is being developed by Ukes, known for their wrestling games and published by Arc System Works. This announcement follows the recent release of Double Dragon Gaiden, a well received roguelike spin off from Studios Secret Base which focused on tagging mechanics with over a dozen characters for a single player or co-op experience. Amazon has announced a lineup of games included with Prime subscriptions for July, celebrating Prime Day with an abundance of freebies. Prime members can claim and keep 24 games at no extra cost this month, including titles like The Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, and various classics. Notable titles available now include Call of Juarez and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shadows Revenge. On July 16th, for 48 hours only, games like Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, and Rise of the Tomb Raider 20 Year Celebrations will be available. Starting July 18th, games like YouTubers Life 2 and Man Eater can be claimed, followed by Cat Quest 2 and Midnight Fight Express on July 25th. Non-members can join Prime with a 30-day trial to access these games and enjoy Prime Day for benefits. Microsoft has announced price increases for all Xbox and PC Game Pass tiers starting July 14, 2024. Xbox Game Pass Core will remain at $10 a month but will rise to $75 a year. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate will increase from $16.99 to $19.99 a month while PC Game Pass will go from $9.99 to $11.99 a month. A new Xbox Game Pass Standard tier will launch at $14.99 a month, offering the full library but delaying first party releases by 6 to 12 months. The Game Pass console tier will be discontinued, though current subscribers can keep their plans. Despite these increases, the Xbox Game Pass recently celebrated its 7th anniversary with 34 million subscribers, a 40% rise since 2022. However, Microsoft's unclear communication has added to the confusion, highlighting the need for better updates. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.